we all broken pieces from broken parts assembled together by our thoughts to reflect like a mirror inspired by a video of uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson Uh, some words like that were mentioned that he was quoted as I believe something that he had quoted or he had reference to in, in, in this literature and it bothered um, this kid that he brought it up to Dr. Peterson in a talk in a public talk And it's actually bugging me a bit because I think it's a great way to um, to describe um, what I felt and what I feel. There was a time in my life when <clears throat> the proper thing to do is get a white collar job or join a union and pregnant a baby mama have one or at least two kids and retire when you're 40 50 or 60 and then whatever foolish thoughts you had as a kid then you can pursue those And uh, if you were to see the uh, the lineup I had growing up, excellent fools, a roster of fools, small thinkers, doubters, and dream killers. And those were just people that called themselves uh, family and friends. <laughs> and eventually as I met more people, had strangers come into my life, I was like, what the f And especially in the civilian world. So to go from uh, civilian world to the Marine Corps to the civilian world, you know, it's been, it's been a, an adjustment, to put it lightly. thinking about this uh, video on YouTube, uh, not duck face, but cuck face, and it's uh, what men do. It's like a duck face. They do that for selfies or photos, and uh, I'm not sure if it was Wild, wild Smile or someone else who had, that was, it was not Wild Smile that uploaded upload that video somebody else but I thought man it's it's an excellent uh, observation you know could you see Napoleon doing that Winston uh, Churchill George Washington be doing that shit and I think not but some way somehow we've uh, let ourselves believe, hey, come here, make this stupid face. Let's pretend we're having a good time. Or let's verify our good time. Let's verify to other people, to strangers, that 
look, we are doing this and doing that. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm trying to think where I, where I learned that from I was, as to why would you want to take a selfie or a picture or something? Yes, I know that there are such things as photos for memories. But you take a selfie of, uh, or a picture of what the fuck you're eating. And how is that significant at all? When will you have time to live? If all you're doing is checking online of other people or just... Look at me. Left foot. Selfie, right foot, selfie, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. And we, and in doing so, I believe, just in that, we could not enjoy a walk, man. Uh, walking alone or with company, with good company. Something's it's bad company because you think about a piece of shit in the city or in the wild. I've uh, unraveled my thoughts. Also, even sitting down with some hard liquor on another continent by myself in a pub with some drawing paper and a pencil. And I, I like to not follow the same pattern as what's common. I won't say as other people, but as what's common. Again, the biggest game in town, the civilian world, is business. And I believe one simply says to review the existence of uh, Sam Walton or uh, Colonel Sanders. To get a clear glimpse or uh, an oversight of what's possible by choice, by action, by immediate action, by risking, calculating, thinking. I'm actually losing my train of thought and momentum because I thought I had one time, I'm not sure it was in Arizona or New Mexico, and I saw that, uh, I think the car told me what 100 miles left in, in the gas tank, and there was a uh, gas station coming up in 20 miles, and the next one would be 40 miles, so I figured, eh, you know, I, I could risk it, I could make it to the last one, or I could just take a calculated risk and just go to the one in the next 20 miles. And I uh, took it since I was traveling alone. But as I stopped here at this gas station along a highway, I was expecting, you know what, maybe I'll run into some people, uh, get recommended a burger joint saw that flying saucer, who saw the Mothman, the werewolf, funny stories, 
recommendation of this or that. But I think as I filled up my gas tank, uh, well, uh, I think one vehicle was leaving and another had arrived and I was almost done filling up. And America's somewhere, I forget the exact number, and I, I, should, I will look it up. The American population is around 300 million people. I'm thinking... So many people, so many cars, and so many people with... Yeah, how many people tell you, say, yeah man, I want to do a road trip. I know I heard, I heard that a lot. Yeah, and I want to go cross country. And me, I never thought of it until I until I thought, you know what? What can I offer? What product or service can I offer the world to uh, to put food in my belly and fill up the gas tank? No, man, I didn't, uh, I didn't see that, man. I was a bit disappointed. Because I just glanced over the, what, hundreds, over a hundred million people, I'm thinking, eh. Volume possibility, but and, and that's why I also find it hard to uh, communicate with people. And people think that I'm a stuck up motherfucker, but uh, no, I like I don't understand. Having praise because it's Friday. You get to chill out. I get to live because it's Friday. Let's go to the bar to forget. So we could uh, not, not even brainstorm, but to just say what I could have, would have, should have done. I don't get it when people have uh, nice cars. Now I sound like a communist, but to have a nice car fast navigation, anti-swamp lights, fucking UFO detectors, bulletproof, and w lifted in, and a cassette player. But they don't dare uh, take it out on the road, man. Put some miles on it. Put some, add some stories to it, man. That That's the thing, maybe. Do you use your things to cope go put stories or add stories to it to become a story to see a story firsthand become a story participate in a story